all the vegetables for you. So we're gonna go over here and look. We're at the nursery here in Homs, in Mexico, getting ready to pick out our vegetables for our garden. Everybody here. We got it. We're gonna start. Hey guys, so we're here at the nursery. We're getting ready to pick out our tomato plants and things for the garden. So we have a lot of like tomato plants and we have basil and things here at the garden that we're going to be planting in the yard. They don't have like a nursery nursery in this town. So we only have like Home Depot, Lowe's and Walmart to get our um, plants and seeds from. So we are absolutely trying to find the best possible plants and these look very healthy so I'm pretty excited about these tomato plants those tomato plants look fabulous so we're gonna see what we can find what kind of plants are y'all finding uh, all kinds. Okay. what do you what do you see that looks really healthy we so I healthy. see some basil over here that smells really good um, I see some sage some parsley Oh, absolutely. Look at this oregano, guys. We're absolutely going to plant some of this in this garden. And there's some squash that would be really good, and that's very healthy. Okra, squash. Yeah, so we're going to do some of these right here, guys. So this is going to be absolutely beautiful. Look okay. at these tomatoes. You know what? We're, we're going to plant do... some corn. We haven't seen, we haven't planted corn in a while, so... What kind did you pick up? I picked a uh, silver queen corn. It's a white corn. It's very sweet, very good, very good in gumbo, especially tomato gumbo. Absolutely. Okay, so we're we're here to pick out peppers to grow. Now, when you can find plants from your area, it's better to plant um, plants from there because they grow very well. These. Um, chili peppers are from New Mexico these are New Mexico New Mexico chili peppers we have I thought I saw some New Mexico jalapenos so we're gonna get some of these and I'm gonna look and see if I can find some jalapenos from New Mexico but I don't see I see chili peppers and that's all I see from New Mexico so we'll absolutely get some New Mexico chili peppers and put those in the garden as well. So, New Mexico, yeah, only chili peppers. So, New Mexico chili peppers are going in the garden. We're about to get ready and get the ground ready for planting. We already made our lines for the rows that we're going to plant. Right here, I have some topsoil, and it's a mixture of alfalfa meal, earthworm castings bone meal and kelp meal and it's going to help condition the ground for the moisture because we're out in the desert so we want something that's going to hold moisture as we you know water the garden two or three times a day to help um get the nutrients and the earthworm casting is um one of the main ingredients that i was looking for when i was looking for a topsoil so we're going to get this a couple of inches deep in the ground she's got uh oh <laughs> she's got to put that topsoil down in there and we're going to cover up with what um what's rising up on the side as we get this so this is about a couple of inches deep the first rows are going to be um greens and we're going to pack we're going to plant seeds for the greens we have collards mustards and turnip greens that we're going to plant. all right okay so okay so we got the ground ready for planting it's time to put the seeds in the ground i have my niece adaya and my niece jayla Adaya has turnip greens that she's going to plant. Jayla has turnip greens that she's going to plant. And I have mustard greens, uh, kale, and cilantro. We got greens in the ground. We got peppers in the ground. Right now, we're working on carrots. We're, we're going to do, do the multicolored carrots, which we have the orange carrots, the white carrots, yellow carrots, purple carrots, carrots, which has more antioxidants than blueberries. And the best way to plant your carrots if you can find them in the uh, paper strings because when you plant grant, uh, carrots with seeds they grow so close together you may not get them but when you buy these they're spread out so you plant these we have a row in the ground right here it's like they put the carrots in pieces of paper or something that's right they put them in the paper and the paper helps them grow properly so we haven't covered them up. I want you guys to see how we plant these carrots. So we're 
So girls, can you come and get this one for me? Is sure. This one in the ground? All right. So just take one in, Jayla. Do we just put it in the next row? We're like gonna that? finish this row right here, okay? okay. We're gonna finish this row. Whoa. Okay, hold on. Paris. Come on. Come on, you carries. Don't pull it. Don't pull it too hard. Pull it lightly. Lightly. This is a good learning exercise for younger kids on up to adults and for the beginners. Absolutely, for beginners. These are going to be some great carrots. The last time I grew carrots, they came out fantastic. And we, when we use uh, just regular seeds that time, we need to cover this up, guys, so that it don't blow away. The carrot packet blew away. That's okay. It's okay. Go ahead and just cover them up lightly, okay? okay? Cover it up lightly. Lightly. Everything is dry. Yeah. All right. So we, we, we've got so many things to the ground. We just planted corn. Now we're getting our tomatoes in the ground. I'm teaching them how to take them out of their planter. I can see the roots. So. Yeah, you can see the roots. And put it right here. Right here in your hole, and we are going to cover that up. Uh, and I think we need to get a little, get a little deeper. That's okay, baby. That's okay. So the ground is so soft because it rained yesterday, so I'm actually able to dig this hole with my hands for the uh, tomatoes. So that's that's really super cool, right there. All right, baby. Cilantro. We're gonna put some cilantro in the ground right here. Something that's very popular in this part of the world. We're in New Mexico. We make our own salsa. We make all kind of Mexican dishes where we use cilantro and pepper. So we have a ton of that in this garden. And we're gonna go ahead and put this cilantro plant right here in the ground. Hold out. Good job, girls. Good job. Gonna take it out. I want to be careful. And look at my boots. This is a good place to go. We're going to the bottom of that.